Hi there, it's Mr. Gray. It's my favourite assembly, Golden Assembly, where we get to hear all the amazing things you've been doing this week, all the times you've been meeting the challenge, being the best you can be, um, and being kind. Get to hear about all the amazing work you've done and all the amazing achievement achievements you're doing, and particularly with the focus of Bounce Back as well. Really looking forward to hearing and seeing it all. See you later on today. Enjoy the rest of the week and enjoy the weekend. Bye for now. Afternoon, my golden award this week goes to the whole of Skylark class. Every single person this week has tried their very best, um, being the best they can be, uh, trying super hard with their work and being really kind to each other and their guardian angels. So well done Skylark class, I feel really happy to be your teacher and I am so proud of you all. Well done. And the winner of the golden award in the swallow class this week is Alice Andrea. Alice has been um, really showing great enthusiasm in her reading and her blending is coming on really well. She's also um, talking to us a lot more so it's really lovely um, that she's getting confident to use words and talk to her teacher and uh, Mr Lee and using uh, the speech with the children a lot more which is really a very very nice thing to see. Well done. The Golden Award in Kingfisher class this week goes to Annabelle. Annabelle has worked just exceptionally hard in her English um, over the last couple of weeks. We have been doing um, setting descriptions and just her work is phenomenal and I'm not going to waffle on about it, I'm going to read it to you. Um, so here goes, I've got to position the book correctly. The, the long green grass swished in the sun. Under the tree was a squirrel eating brown nuts. The beautiful green moss covered the trees like a blanket in the light of the sun. In the forest, there was a dark and brown sign pointing to a house. Gracefully, the beautiful fish swam across the crystal clear pond. The forest was as dark as the night. The flowers were growing behind her. Birds were in the sky. The stony, rocky path went along the forest. The leaves fluttered like butterflies. The squirrel sat peacefully on the dead leaves. The wolf was below the trees. The tree stumps were as hard as rock. The lake was as clear as glass. And Annabelle has used, I just have to point out that Annabelle is in year two. She has used expanded noun phrases. She's used powerful verbs. She's used amazing adverbs. She's used similes. She's used prepositions. She has used all of the features that she was asked to use um, and written a beautiful setting description. And in case anyone was wondering, she is describing the forest in Little Red Riding Hood. Um, and we use some pictures to help us come up with some ideas. So Annabelle, I'm really proud of you. You've worked incredibly hard um, and I think it's a beautiful piece of writing. Well done, you. Hello and welcome to Swift Class. And um, We've had a really good week in class this week. Our frog spawn have arrived. Thank you, Mrs Pearson. Here they are. But back to the important matter of our Golden Award, which this week goes to Tor. Tor is very scientific and is um, keeping us all informed about what to expect with our tadpoles. He is full of information about brains and anything we need to know about, Tor will find out about. So thanks, Tor. You really deserve the award this week. Thank you. Bye. This week's Golden Award in Starling Class goes to Clarissa. Congratulations, Clarissa. Now, this week, uh, I had a chat with you because you had tried something in your work, but I thought you could do a bit better and write a little bit more and really try to push yourself to be the best you could be. And you rose to that challenge and you wrote lots more and it was really high quality. So I wanted to give you the Golden Award for that reason, for meeting that challenge that I'd set you. And Miss Austin and I have also noticed lots of you being kind in the classroom and tidying up tables without being asked and reminding other people when they've left something behind like a coat or a book. So thank you for just being such a lovely presence and congratulations on the Golden Award. Hello everyone, this week I'm doing the Golden Award for the Woodpeckers and I'm going to give the award to Neve. Neve is such a joy to be around and she puts a smile on everyone's face every time they see her. Thank you so much for being so kind and positive, Neve. I'll see you soon. Bye!